Anytime a hydraulic lifter is removed, it needs to be bled before reinstalling, otherwise you might bend a pushrod, or worse. Reinstalling the lifter without bleeding it causes it to hold the valve open when the rocker arm is tightened. And if the engine is rotated, the valve spring can become fully compressed and bend the pushrod. A pumped up lifter will not compress easily and will have minimal travel. Once the lifter is bled, it can be compressed easily and will travel about 3 sixteenths of an inch. To bleed these lifters, I use a 5 sixteenths socket and a one-handed bar clamp. Place the socket hex side up in the bar clamp. The lifter goes in next, upside down with the open end on the socket, making sure the socket does not contact the lifter ball surface. Substantial force over time is required to bleed this style of lifter, so clamp it down good, then periodically retighten. This will take 6 to 10 minutes. The bled lifter can now be installed according to the service manual procedures and will not hold the valve open or bend the pushrod.